there he is. Ooh. And that is just a good keeper tog. Let's see. It's really fun on that light pole. Oh yeah. 17. Let's see what's out. If there's more down there. I think this one's gonna be a keeper. But there's fish down there. Nice little juvenile. All right, we got something going on here. Bad. It usually always happens this way too when your time's about up. Remember that thing I said about having an angry girlfriend? <laughs> uh, oh boy. I got lucky on that one, boys and girls. There's some gnarly snags down there. I should have tried to lift that fish out sooner than that. Staying in the boat. Oh, that's old meathead right there. That's all. That's old gorilla mouth. Oh, where's the net? Oh, what a disaster. Talk about being ill prepared. Oh. Oh. oh, and we still made it happen. Oh, that's a good end. A 
that's a solid one right there. fish probably about that's a six pounder you know what that was a female sometimes you gotta you gotta give some back It's not good to be too greedy. I'm gonna use up the rest of the crabs that I got cut and I'm gonna head in. Man, that's fun on that light rod. I'm using uh, boo, 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 boo. Shimano Travala. What is this one rated for? This is a medium light action. Well, medium light, medium fast action. Seven foot, braided line, 20 to 50. I mean, just, and I'm using that Akuma Komodo reel. I love those reels. These reels are tough. Big power handle. Tons of drag, enough drag for anything I'm gonna be doing in shore. There's one. Man, this trip didn't start out very well, but that's the thing with tog fishing. Well, any fishing. Can't be afraid to move. You gotta move. Till you find them. Tog fishing, you gotta move. The beauty. Oh, pulled it right out of his lips. And I think he took the bait on that one. Yep. Do I cut more crabs? That's the question. You're not there? How? He was moving with it. 
Come on. Oh, maybe you were there all along. You're just small. I think that's what happened. Oh. Come on. Got you that time. It's a little better, but ain't a keeper. Just a nice little, uh, probably about a 13 inch fighter. Still a lot of fun on the light tackle. So, I just caught my personal vest and I'm thinking that I just missed it on GoPro. Here's the specimen. And I'm talking stud. Stud. I'm hoping I didn't miss it on my GoPro so you guys can witness the fight. But I'm willing to bet I just got my first double digit talk. I'm hoping the video is good on this. Let's get a measurement. I mean, stud 24 inches let's try to get a a weight on this guy without causing a lot of harm let's get him right under the gill plate and not Man. Ten. It's hard with the water moving. Nine fifteen. Ten. I'm calling him a ten pounder, guys. That's what I'm talking about. I've done a lot of fishing. A lot of fishing.
right, here we go. I have no, uh, no thoughts in keeping a 10 pounder. I mean, come on. There you go. Goes back to the depths. God, what a fight. Man, that means so much. I've been fishing very hard for two years. Very hard. To finally get my first double digit tog. And on that note, it's time to go. I got to look at my footage. I'm hoping I got that fight on camera. But when I looked at my phone after the fight was over, GoPro was off. didn't hear the beep I don't know I don't know what happened maybe I did I just wasn't paying attention got caught up in the fishing